Hi everybody, this is Greg Fox, the keyboardist and composer for the Renaissance Rock Orchestra. Thanks for coming and checking out our video here today. I appreciate your time. Make sure that you subscribe while you're here. It's down there somewhere. And uh, give us a like too. We really appreciate it a lot. What I'm gonna talk about today is our newest record by Renaissance Rock Orchestra called A Song of Hope. Now, I wrote this during COVID. So the full title of the album is actually A Song of Hope 2020, This Too Shall Pass. And uh, when I wrote this record and recorded this record, I was trying to explain my feelings and what I was going through, but I was trying to give people hope and some inspiration, make them happy and uh, try to keep them from being depressed and help them to deal with the grief and the tragedy that so many people went through during COVID, you know, the loss of income, uh, the loss of stability in your life, the loss of loved ones, all of that. So on this record, I try to do that as a writer and, and a composer. And, and so it has a, a variety of a lot of different sounds and, and things on it that are pretty uplifting, mostly. So I'm going to describe today a little bit about what's on this record and uh, the artists that performed on it. And I'm going to give you a close up here real quick. Right? A Song of Hope 2020, This Too Shall Pass. This is Renaissance Rock Orchestra's last release, my COVID writing experience. Hopefully everybody will be able to enjoy this music forever because it's timeless. It has that 80s melodic rock feel to it. On our last record, uh, the songwriting was much more progressive, much more Trans-Siberian Orchestra. On A Song of Hope, I was going for a little bit different style than on our last record in Times of Old. And one of the ways I went about doing that, other than the songwriting itself, which is less Trans-Siberian and less progressive rock, maybe even a little bit less metal, but still very melodic rock and very symphonic rock. And uh, so what I did is instead of using the 27 different artists that we had on In Times of Old, I actually wanted to come up with that Renaissance Rock Orchestra sound. So yes, I created a core band for this record. And so I used most of the guys I've worked with before and some newcomers that were very exciting and fun too. So uh, I used Brian Tishy, the drummer from White Snake and Corner, who on In Times of Old played our song, the author of Mystery. A very, very powerful drummer. I also used our main guy, Mark Bowles, our singer from uh, In Times of Old from the song The Ice Age Cometh. He is our voice for the Renaissance Rock Orchestra now and on this entire record and on every track, as is Brian Tishy on the drums. And I brought in several guitar players. My first plan was to just use one guitar player, but in COVID, it was kind of difficult to do that. There was so many things going on by so many different artists as we all struggled to stay alive without any shows and any income. It was challenging. So Michael James Romeo from Symphony X did three tracks on this record. Very, very happy to have him on the record. And there is some smoke and hot guitar writing and some smoke and hot guitar solos by Michael James Romeo. Uh, track number one, for instance, is called In My Love and Arms, and uh, Michael played on that, and it starts with just this incredibly arpeggiated build-up guitar lick that is monstrous. You're absolutely, absolutely going to love that, uh, In My Love and Arms. <laughs> And uh, he also played on the next two tracks. The second track is a song called Here We Are Again. It's a very, very fun song because it has, uh, it's a story of a rock band trying to make it and how hard they work and how they practice every night and they go to work every day. And in a lot of ways, it's the story of my life trying all the time in so many different bands and rehearsing all night long and working all day long every day. And, uh, all we need is that big break. Michael James Romeo plays guitar on that.
But on bass on this record, we have the great Greg Smith, phenomenal bass player from Alice Cooper, Ted Nugent. Greg has played with just about everybody, including Dawkins, Rainbow, Alan Parsons. Greg wrote some brilliant, brilliant bass parts on this record. I'm so, so happy to, to have him with, it up, with us on this record. Thank you very much, Greg. Yeah, so our third song on this record is called Circus Life. Uh, one of my favorite songs on the record. It's a very Queen-like sounding song. Circus Life is very interesting in that it has separate movements, different parts of it, almost like a Queen song would, like a Bohemian Rhapsody type song. But it's not nearly so epic like some of our songs on In Times of Old. It's a very commercial sounding song and it's very fun. It has, the verses are kind of introspective. It goes into a very happy chorus thing. In some ways it's political. It talks a little bit about the circus going on in the world. Yes, I'm walking on. Michael James Romeo plays the rhythm guitars on that one, but we also have Tony Alleman on guitar from Juan Crucier's Rat, and he plays this really, really remarkable Brian May solo, this multi-tracked guitar thing like Brian May would do where he does separate guitar lines, and it has just such a unique sound uh, when you add those all together. A beautiful job on that, Tony. Thank you so much. I think you guys are going to really enjoy Circus Life. Track number four is uh, a little bit of my homage to Yes, my favorite band, Yes. Uh, it has some Yes sounding sounds to it. It also has some Pink Floyd sounding parts. Well, uh, Christian Brady from Hell Yeah played guitar on this piece. And uh, he did just some amazing David Gilmore-ish lines that are bluesy sounding and uh, very emotional, very emotive. The Universal Dance is the name of the fourth track. And it is kind of lyrically a story about the universe. And it's a very zen-like feel, very uplifting and positive, very inspiring about, it, uh, you know, how the stars and the planets move and how that's the timepiece of the heaven, the universal dance. And so, so I hope it's an inspiring piece to everyone. Waves crashing on the shore On our last song on the record, which is the title track, A Song of Hope. I have two different guitar players. I have both Tony Alleman and I have Christian Brady playing on that song. And I'm so proud of the composition of this piece. This song has touched people all around the world. And uh, so I'm very, very proud of it. As a songwriter, your biggest goal is to touch people to move people, to really reach them. And it's a difficult thing to do. 
And it seems like I really did this in the songwriting of A Song of Hope. Uh, I've had people from around the world comment on YouTube about how it's helped them during COVID with, with the loss of family members, uh, with the loss of their jobs, uh, the tragedies that they've experienced in their life. And uh, so I'm, I'm very happy that it's giving people hope. The choruses are just come in and they are brilliantly huge and inspiring and melodically beautiful. And Mark Bowles does just a remarkable job. The tone of his voice on A Song of Hope is beautiful, as it is on the entire album. I mean, Mark is, Mark is brilliant. And uh, so uh, you are really gonna love this record when you hear Mark's voice. And, and with a band like this, uh, it, it's all so powerful. And so you can see the end in sight, full of love and light. Join with me and sing this song of hope. This song of hope will help us through the darkest night. Open up your heart so you can try to do what's right. This song of hope will tear down hate, expose the lies. We shall overcome and we shall fight. What we've been doing with the songs and the singles on A Song of Hope, we haven't actually released it on Spotify and all the streaming platforms as an album. We've only released them as singles. So our first single to be released off the record was In My Love and Arms, a really rock and great symphonic rock song, melodic rock song that some people have compared to both uh, Van Halen and Dream Theater. So. Uh, Kind of a neat thing, I think you'll enjoy that. But so then we just released recently Circus Life, the third track, that's the second track off the record that we have released. And uh, it's a very, very fun piece. I think you're gonna enjoy that. I wanted to show you something real fun about this record because uh, inside we have a, a really nice printout and folder. This was done by our graphic artist, uh, Jamie and Valentine, really cool, check this out. And then on this side, we have Brian Tishy and myself. And I, I hope that this record will always be a reminder of what we all went through because we all went through the most amazing and difficult thing you could ever imagine, something that none of us could have ever imagined would happen in our lives. And so this record will always be remembered as being the record that came from that time, a song of hope, something that we all needed to get through it and we still need as, as we continue on to deal with the pandemic. So uh, yes, go listen to it on Spotify. Uh, check it out on all your streaming platforms. If you'd like a copy, they're available. All you have to do is just DM me on Facebook, Renaissance Rock Orchestra. DM me on Instagram, Renaissance Rock Orchestra. It's really easy to get a copy. I also have uh, digital downloads available of the entire record if you want to have it instantly. And uh, that's easy to get to. Uh, that's on payloads.com, payloads, L-O-A-D-Z. And so uh, it's under Rock and Renaissance Rock Orchestra, Jewish Surprise. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for coming to the YouTube channel and seeing these things. The views just keep going up. Please tell your friends, your family, and uh, keep spreading the word. And so uh, let's add some more hope to the world and enjoy a lot of good music. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.